the most incredible makeup effects in the history of film. There are only two things behind great characters, their excellent acting and incredible makeup. Do you know how they get it? No? Well, just watch the video and find it out. Lights, camera, makeup. Keith Ledger, Joker. It is known that Joaquin Phoenix's performance as Joker was extraordinary, but when it comes to the makeup of this iconic villain, Keith Ledger is still the king. The artist John Caglione Jr. played a significant part in reinventing the most wanted villain in Gotham City, getting a scary look completely different from the comic in Batman The Dark Knight. I thought my jokes were bad. The Oscar nominee for his incredible makeup work explained that precision wasn't really his goal, but the organic, crazy look requested by Christopher Nolan, the director. This meant that the clown had to look like he hadn't removed the makeup in weeks and didn't fully cover the scars either. According to Caglione Jr., to get this look, Ledger had to keep crumpling his face so they put the makeup on it. This is an old technique used in theater. The artist was also inspired by 20th century art and Nolan himself provided a book full of abstract portraits by the painter Francis Bacon. However, Heath Ledger's talent stole the show and made everything work stupendously. Why so serious? Bonnie Aarons, The Nun Although this is one of the most questionable franchises of The Conjuring, what is unquestionable is the amazing makeup work used to create The Nun. The face and deep green eyes of the beautiful actress Bonnie Aarons was so perfect that the makeup department could work for several hours on the personification of this diabolic character. The Nun is a Hollywood product, but this fact didn't stop the online community from creating its own makeup versions as scary as the original. What do you think? Jim Carrey, The Grinch As it was about a character that people love hating, such as The Grinch, only Jim Carrey's charm was needed to play the role. Oh! Ah! Mmm! However, playing that grouch and green character was anything but easy. According to the actor, the makeover for How the Grinch Stole Christmas was a real torture. It took around eight or nine hours where Carrie was covered up with skin prosthesis full of stuffed toys fur that he used from head to toe. And if that were not enough, he also had to wear annoying yellow contact lenses. The actor felt like he was being buried alive and could have quit, but the Bee Gees music calmed him down. Luckily, he didn't, so he delighted us with one of the most famous roles in his career. What's more, the movie won an Oscar for Best Makeup. Well, the Grinch didn't steal Christmas, but the Golden Statuette. Jeff Goldblum, The Fly In the 1980s, nobody thought it was possible to transform a regular man into a gigantic humanoid fly, but the makeup team of the artist Chris Wallace proved otherwise in The Fly. But not only that, he won an Oscar for his amazing work. You earned it, Chris. To get it, the team created the transformation look first, and from there they went backwards in the different stages of the change. Once they got the head design, the rest was easier. In addition, they put several fake skin spots on the actor and a secret food colorant substance to the disgusting fluids of the fly. The result was one of the most unbelievable, terrifying, and disgusting creatures ever made by Hollywood. Have you ever heard of Insect politics? Neither have I. Bill Skarsgård, Pennywise. This character is a real nightmare brought to the screen from the sinister Stephen King's imagination. In order to give life to the latest adaptation of Pennywise, played by Bill Skarsgård, the legendary makeup artists Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr., already known for their work in the Alien franchise, said the director Andy Muschiette wanted Pennywise to look more like a child than a decrepit old man. Once they had the head sculpture done, they started forming the molds to know which one would work and which one wouldn't. The process continued with making rubber pieces, and it took around three hours to put them together on the actor. The artist said that Pennywise's transformation was one of the easiest works in their career. However, it was one of the most meticulous. Brad Pitt, Benjamin Button This is considered one of the best performances in Brad Pitt's acting life, and certainly the spectacular makeup in the curious case of Benjamin Button can't be left behind. 
This movie is the perfect example of how the passing of time makes the body age, but in this case, in reverse. No need to be. There's nothing wrong with old age. According to Greg Canham, responsible for the makeup, he was grateful for the makeup tests lasting two weeks, as he could find the proper makeup to every stage. When the filming process started, they did the makeup for every age the actor was supposed to have. What if I told you that I wasn't getting older, but I was getting younger than everybody else? David Naughton, Werewolf Even though CGI effects currently exist, those are not even close to having the quality of the amazing work done by the makeup team at creating what is considered the scariest werewolf on screen in the movie An American Werewolf in London. The actor, David Naughton, spent 10 hours seated down while they put suffocating prosthesis together on him, only for transformation scenes. Ouch! That must have hurt! But what really hurt was filming in a very illuminated room as the makeup effects got ruined. However, his effort and agony were rewarded, because the same year of the movie's premiere, the Oscar added a new category for Best Makeup. And how it was expected, Rick Baker, the guy behind this masterpiece, won in that category. Charlize Theron, Aileen Wuornos To this day, critics and fans are still shocked by the way she turned into her, a prostitute becoming a serial killer. And this time, the Hollywood's magic had nothing to do with it, but the great makeup work does. Transformation wasn't easy because the beautiful actress had to gain weight and shave her eyebrows entirely. In order to get such damaged skin, they spilled temporary tattoo ink on Charlize. In addition, they bleached the remaining parts of her eyebrows, so it matched with the rest of her face. But that wasn't the hardest part, because they also had to treat her hair to make it rough. Finally, she had to use a denture, so her teeth turned yellow. What was the final result? A completely different person. Rebecca Romaine, Mystique Everybody loves Jennifer Lawrence, and her performance as Mystique surprised even the detractors. However, Rebecca Romaine playing this character in the original trilogy started up everything, and introduced for the first time this interesting but hard-to-play villain. The actress emphasized how challenging but funny was the whole process. She stayed naked for nine hours while they covered up her body with silicon prosthesis. They took from midnight to 9 a.m., so she didn't sleep sometimes. Even when they filmed at night, as she wore nothing under all that makeup, the staff kept her warm using a hairdryer. That's what I call commitment. Would you do it? Ron Perlman, Hellboy Guillermo del Toro gets us used to see fantastic characters as a result of artistic excellence in makeup. That's why his Hellboy version left the audience open-mouthed. Waiting for me, Genesis. Ron Perlman had a complete transformation into the Red Demon because he not only uses prosthetic pieces in his head, but also wears a full body costume to give an extra volume. Additionally, he has a tail, and the remaining exposed skin is painted in red. Jake Garber, the artist responsible for the makeup effects, met with Perlman four hours before shooting to get the costume ready. Would you go with one of these makeup transformations? Let me know which one in the comments. Click on like at the bottom and subscribe to this channel. Just click on the icon bell. This didn't satisfy your curiosity? There are more incredible videos here. Decide for one.